All right, former rapper and now Minister Mace recently recalled the chilling moment of his whereabouts when the late Biggie Smalls was tragically killed. Now, this was interesting. Mace said, I was in a hotel. I was actually in a hotel with a young lady. I was trapped in the hotel. It was about probably like 70 or so bloods in the hallway, and I couldn't leave my room. Mace added that he believed that bloods were looking for more bad artists to harm. What are your thoughts on this tea, Al? Uh, you know what? I was with him. I was with him until he was asked, well, how did you get out of the hotel room? And he said a security guard had to come and get him from Bad Boy. A security guard from Bad Boy had to come get and escort him out of the hotel. That's where he lost me. Um, you know, and we like Mace. I like Mace. He's it, And I like this podcast for him. But how is the security guard from Bad Boy going to come into a hotel uh, hallway with 70 bloods or crypto? I think it's in bloods, right? and get a 5'9 guy through 70 bloods and, and take him out of the hotel. Just didn't add up, didn't make sense. So I'm going to have to pass this one on to, to Q. Maybe he knows something a little more than I do. Yeah, what do you think? What are your thoughts on the story? I don't know. It, it, it's giving very embellished. Um, I don't know what hotels were like back then. I know the hotels that I stay at now you can't get on the floor unless you got a key card. Um, that's not far fetched for somebody to get a key card to get to get on the floor. Seventy people. That's a damn fraternity convention. I just don't understand how that many people be lingering in a hallway and hotel security wouldn't be there or, or calling the police. So I'm, I'm kind of with Al. And, and then too, one security guard, seventy bloods. If they wanted to harm you, it was just two against seventy. Right. It would seem to me that they would have just shot y'all up or whooped y'all ass or whatever it is they were there to do. So I don't know, Mace, this is giving real embellished, but I'm going to tell you what I'm not here for. Um, y'all are not about to re-traumatize us with these deaths of Biggie and Tupac, all right? And, and y'all are not about to leak, leak, leak slow little pieces of information. Like, if, er if everybody is sitting up on information that's relevant to the case, y'all need to give it up now so we can get past this, find whoever did it, if that's what we're doing, or let sleeping dogs lie. I'm going to say, when it comes to Mace, I would live for a Mace tell-all book when he's out of the country. Um, I have heard a lot of things about Mace in an elevator. People in an elevator? What do you mean? I'm going to tell y'all during the break. So, you know what I mean? I, I don't, okay. I'll, I'll be all right. But there's some stuff that I've heard about him and things that he was forced into. And I think that I would like to hear Mace's uh, takes on his time because the way he exited the business, you can't tell me that was just a, oh, I just had a change of heart. Mm. I think something traumatizing happened to Mace. Traumatizing happened to Mace. And I think a lot of people were intimidated to shut the hell up and not say anything. And now 20 years of, uh, out of it, I think people are starting to feel a little bit like, all right, let me just leak a little bit here, leak a little bit there. There's a reason though people ain't just coming all out with everything though. I think people are still nervous for their well being. You know what I mean? And the more that details that come out about this huge event in hip hop, the more it's starting to be like, hmm, it wasn't random. Well, we know it wasn't random, but I just feel like Mace has a lot of information that a lot of tea that he has withheld from us. Maybe he's embellishing 70 people, but I do. I, I don't find it hard to believe that he was intimidated to stay in his room. I don't think it was. Maybe it wasn't 70. Maybe mm -hmm. he's like a big storyteller. Like, oh, it was like 70 dudes. Maybe it was 10. I don't know. But I don't think Mace would just make this up. I think he was the timing. Right. You are there's goons in the hallway the night Biggie's murdered. Right. Mm -hmm. I can rock with that. I can. I can definitely. I can rock with that. But Mace, I think Mace has a story to tell that we would all be interested in.